suffering for this moment. Mm. Jesus is Lord. Ooh. This is really, really, really good. It's delicious with Irene. Hello everyone, your most favorite lady is back again with It's Delicious with Irene. It's another day, beautiful moment where we are going to do some magical dishes and right there we are here. I'm very happy to get to see you again all wherever you are. Thank you for being here watching my show. Thank you as always my new subscribers and the one who are still there keep on watching day after day and the most who keep on wishing for more recipes. It's all my prayers. I'm so humbled. This is quite really warming to me and today we are going to do a fish back fish and how we're going to do it it's in the aluminium folie hmm. have we imagined of that how it's gonna be stay tuned and you'll see more it's delicious with Irene so my beautiful people, I'm back again to show you all what we need for making our bag fish in the aluminium folie. First of all, we have here our fish. It's already washed and very well in a look. The way I kind of slice a bit this fish here so that the spices can really enter by the time we do the marination according to the belief of my grandma yeah but i hope of course it's working yeah i don't know how you do it at home but this is how i do here we have our spices i'll give some introduction and the measurement that i did we have kukuma it's like one teaspoon we have hot paprika it's a half tablespoon and here we go to garam masala it's a whole tablespoon and this is also black pepper it's one tablespoon one teaspoon a small one and here we have basilicum it's also one flat teaspoon and here we have tandoori masala it's like one tablespoon and here we have curry it's also one tablespoon and we also have here oregano which i'll also show why i didn't measure now and we also have some lemon you can also use a fresh one and we also have soya sauce we have salt we have olive oil and as well as sunflower oil the backed aluminium fish that we're going to do today is not just going to be alone. We are going to put something also together so that it can grow alone. And this is potatoes. Look how it is. I just sliced them very well. I didn't peel them. This is how I really like it to be. For some other people, it can also be different. But I find there are so much nutrients which are in these potatoes which are good for the health. So I sliced them in this particular way and the potatoes were washed very well. But if you're not a fan of this, you can peel them and it is very well. And last but not least, I also have some vegetables that I sliced. And this is just all to make the appealing of our fish and our potatoes to be in a good shape. Yeah, so this is all what you need. delicious with Irene. So now it's a high time for us to marinate our fish first. This means we're going to put all the spices that I introduced for you before. We just pour them here inside like this. Yeah. It is so beautiful, colorful. As as we can see, after pouring this, I will put 
pour some soy sauce. This is not the very super dark soy sauce, it's a light one, so it's not super strong. And I like it in that way. Two. I'm going to put like four spoons because it needs to be liquidy so as to make everything good. Tablespoon should be enough. Putting some lemon flavor, exactly. And of course, we put some sunflower. Mm -hmm. Like two tablespoons. Yeah. And of course, some salt. This I do with my feeling. <laughs> yeah, this should be okay. And of course, we do pour some garlic on top. So now I'm going to mix this all together. Exactly. And make sure that the fish, every part of the fish, Got the spices and how I do it, I pour it it's as if I wash it. I really make sure that everything goes everywhere inside. I apply it everywhere. Well, so at this particular point, we are going to let our fish for almost two hours so that everything can just mix itself very well and can just blend itself good and to be at a very good point so that, yeah, we can, we can really feel all the spices everywhere and the taste of it. So we're gonna marinate it for like two hours and then we will be back and put it to the oven. Hmm, yeah. Well, so while our meat is marinating, oh, did I say meat? Fish. Well, while our fish is marinating, uh, we are doing our potatoes. With these potatoes are going to be together with the fish. You can actually do it even with maybe plantain or even if you have rice aside, but don't like mix the rice and the fish together aside. But this is just what I want to mix with today. So first of all, this is not kind of what to say marinating. What can I call it? Marinating. But it's also kind of a way to give some spice to the potatoes that we're going to attach. Yeah, so this is olive oil, exactly. And yeah, so I'm going to put the first spoon. I'll kind of just put it all here. Yeah, two spoons should be enough. Mm -hmm. If you don't have olive oil, you can even do with sunflower, but I really love olive oil. It also gives some olive taste and it is amazing, yeah. And I'm going also to pour a little bit of salt, yeah. Yeah. And of course, black pepper. everywhere just everywhere that and last but not least oregano yeah and this you can also just pour on top exactly 
and by this point of course our potatoes are also will be tasty in its own way and yeah so our potatoes are ready as well as our fish is still marinating and we will see each other later when we will be packing it all together for the oven it's delicious with the ring so dear people, two hours down and right here we have our baking form. I covered it all over with alfolia. This was kind of my crazy way of doing it. And the purpose is so that I can cover it from all directions. Exactly. So at first I will be placing some potatoes and also fish together in this back folie. And it will look like this. I'm gonna put on the downside some potatoes lying here on the floor, as you can see. And I have a purpose while doing this. And the fish will also come on top, and some potatoes will be also popping in a way too. This is to make the fish down also to have kind of the taste. I mean these potatoes which are down to also have get some uh, taste from the fish. Yeah, 
So all what we need for this, I really love this actually. I really love most of the dip to do by myself because it's much more heavier. You know all what you have mixed because sometimes you can buy something and you really don't know what is inside there. Which sometimes it contains even much more fat and we want to eat healthy, aren't we? Well, so this dip can actually go with so many kinds of food. You can eat this alongside with rice, you can have other sauce and the dip aside. You can eat it with chapati, or you can eat it with bread, you dip it inside. Mm. Or you can also eat it with some fries, you can also eat it and you have some other sauces aside of your choice. It just goes with everything. Just test it. It's amazing. So all we need for our yogurt dip or our afro tzatziki is as follow. We have some grinded curry carrot, we have some chopped onions, we have chopped cucumber as well as garlic, and of course a pure yogurt, we have salt, black pepper, lemon, we have soya sauce, we have oregano, and we have olive oil. So here let's go with the mixture. I will pour first my cucumber here in my little bowl like this. And of course I will pour some almonds here. And of course some garlic and a little bit of my carrot okay, it can all go inside yeah and then i will put some lemon yeah let's say like a small teaspoon because this one is not really full and black pepper let's see just somehow yeah and yeah oregano it will be good if it comes later we put some soy sauce mm -hmm. this let's say tablespoon no teaspoon and Salt it better to put at the end while we know how much we have already here inside and we also put a bit now our main thing yogurt and we do it stage by stage because our bowl is kind of yeah I think it fits in good and we can mix it all good together exactly so here mix it in this kind of a dip sometimes you can also do when you make your salad then you pour this dip on your normal salad dish it can also be good the taste will also be so amazing as you can see this dip it's really good, very fresh, very, very nice. So, at this particular point, I'm going to test if this, uh, the salt which is inside here really uh, enough, or if I should add somehow. Okay. I think we need a little bit of soy because it was just kind of the soy sauce and soy sauce as you know it has already salt and mix it so this is how it has to look like hmm. yummy yummy so actually this is already the 
point that is ready for this but of course as usual we like our food to appeal very well so we're gonna add some decoration on top and this is how i'm gonna do it we're gonna use our olive oil our very healthy oil we're gonna drop something here yeah we're gonna make some some So we're gonna make like some lines like this. Isn't it is amazing? And then our oregano is gonna be popping a bit here up. Mm -hmm. So this is right here waiting for the food. Yay! Our Afro tzatziki dip. How amazing! delicious with the ring so my dear amazing people our good 14 minutes are down I can't wait to open up this dish ha yeah let's get right there to the point it's kind of hot not only kind of it's really hot so we have to be careful while we open this so I have to open the for you very careful. Ooh. Ooh. The smoke starts slowly to pop. Whoa. -da -da -da. Wow. Wow. Let me have a bit a test of it. Let me grab some potatoes. And we actually even have some sauce down. So, yeah. There we are. And some fish, of course. Yeah. Ooh. I think I'm just going to take a part of it. And aside, I'll put some tzatziki apple deep. Hmm. Yeah. And now I'm very ready to test it. It's really hot. It's really hot. But yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, pour this a bit here. Bye-bye.